Hi, this is Cameron Urai. I have an amazing, one of the most amazing people that I ever, I ever really met in my <laughs> life. And, and, and I'm not joking really. It's just like a wealth of information, wealth of God's heart. And I, I, I had to capture what he had and what he has to say for the Middle East and also for America. And being from Middle East, being from a Muslim background is such an honor to meet someone like him that understand the misunderstanding that is going on all around the world between Christians and between Muslims. You really understand the misunderstanding. Inshallah. <laughs> yes. Please tell us about Jesus in Quran and especially him as a life giver. Ah. Because to me, this would be an amazing subject for our Muslim brothers and sisters. And even for our Christian brothers and sisters to know that Quran says that Jesus is a life giver. If you could just share that with us. Yes, it's very interesting. Uh, perhaps a story would help illustrate Jesus in Christianity and Islam as our life giver, both. We were in Africa, and there was, I was asked to speak or lecture at two Muslim universities. One was that blue jeans, a few women hijabs, they're all Muslims, and, but it was very liberal, that was easy. Then they went to an all women's school, all black, head to toe. With hijab. Hijab. No, uh, it's, uh, some had burqa. Wow. And some had a job at all black, very conservative. And they said, would you speak on Jesus in the Quran? I said, oh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't my subject. <clears throat> they asked me to speak. They said, they heard, we heard that you know a lot about Jesus in our holy Quran. Would you please speak about it? I said, all right. So I said, ladies, do you all speak English? And they all said, yeah, raise their hand. Uh, let's make this interactive. Is that all right with the teachers and the dean and you? And they all said, yes, sure. I said, now, is it true that Jesus healed sick people and the leper and the blind? They said, yes, it's true. It's in the Quran. In the Quran, I'm talking about. Yes. And they said, but he did it by the permission of Allah. I said, all right, he did it with the permission of Allah. Is it true that Jesus raised dead people? And I thought only Allah could raise dead people to life. Yes. He gave life to the dead, make better life to the sick. Yes, yes, he did that, but with the permission of Allah, I said, all right. Is it true that in the Quran that Jesus formed clay birds with his hands out of mud and breathed his spirit, his breath, on the clay birds, and they became living birds? Yes, yes, they did that, he did that with the permission of Allah. I said, wait a minute, is how could Allah breathe on mud and create Adam and Jesus breathe, believe on clay and create living birds? That sounds like something extraordinary and divine. They just looked at each other, didn't have a comment. Now, what's Jesus' title Messiah mean? And they looked at each other, uh, we don't know. And they looked at the professors, and they just stood there with their arms folded all, they're all along the edges. Like what we shared before in a previous program. Yes. That I used to believe Messiah, uh, Masih was his last name, Isa Masih. Right. And you asked the question, what does Masih mean, Messiah means? It's, what did they say? First of all, Isa Al, the Masih, the Messiah. And they said, we don't know. I said, all right, ladies, in Arabic, you all speak Arabic? When you say, wipe the table clean, what is it? Ah, oh, Mishka, Mashiach. You know, it's the same part of the etymology of the word Messiah, to wipe, to clean off. Ah, he cleaned off the sickness in people. He cleaned the dead. He was able to give life to clay birds. I said, okay, now, other than Allah, Who's going to be present according to the Quran on Judgment Day? He said, Isa. So what is he going to do? See, I was a Muslim and I did not know that it was in Quran. Oh, yes. That he would stand in Judgment Day. I 
There yes. are so many Muslims, maybe they knew. I didn't know that. Well, Jesus will be present on Judgment Day. In Quran. In the Quran. In the Bible, but I'm speaking just Quran. Must Remember, be somebody. They didn't ask me to speak on the Bible. Yes. They asked me to speak on the Quran. <laughs> but what we bring in the Bible, because it's relevant, as yes. you'll see in a minute. All right. So what's he going to do on judgment, they think? He's going to wipe our sins. He'll wipe us clean of our sin. Wow. I said, wait a minute. The Quran says only Allah can forgive sins. Yes, it says that, uh, but he did it with his permission. I said, all right. Well, let me tell you what the Gospels say, if I might. They, all right, they could, I look at the professors, and they were, I could tell you getting a little nervous. So Jesus said about himself that I only do what Allah, that's the Aramaic for God, Allah tells me to do. Aramaic word for God. For Aramaic Jesus word. Used, what was it? Allah. Allah. Okay. That's his Aramaic language, okay. which is similar to, to Arabic. His father. Okay. He said, I only do what God tells me to do. I only say what God tells me to say. And he said, moreover, what you girls said, all permission has been given to me by Allah on heaven and earth. So he could do these divine miracles. Aren't these divine miracles? Only God can, God's divine, only he can do these miracles. They go, yes. So you agree that, that Jesus gives us better life now. He gives us, he gives life to the dead. He's a life giver. And he's going to give us all, through the permission of God, eternal life on judgment day. So he's a life giver. Yes, yes, he's our life giver. There is no argument. Remember, this is the, the burqa group, not the more blue jeans and the liberal group. Wow. Now here's the key. What is Aramaic, what does Aramaic have to do with this matter? It has everything to do with it. Okay, lift your shy, would you please? Yes. In the Old Testament, when someone would toast, they'd say, to life. You know how that's said? Lachaim. In Arabic, the Quran, Chaya is life, the same word. And in the Aramaic New Testament, the word Chayat is life. So Chai in the Old Testament, Chai in the New Testament, Chai is the root in the Quran, all mean the same thing, life. And in Farsi language, instead of Chayat, is Hayat. It's the same. Yes. It's See, just an like accent. Like you said, they're all cousins. They're all cousins, even in Farsi. Yes. All right. So here's, you illustrate the point perfectly. Now here's the most exciting thing. Are you ready? In the entire New Testament, Gospels and the, what we call the Epistles, every time the word salvation is mentioned, for example, believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. That word salvation in Aramaic is chayat. That you will have hayat, you will life. have life. So a more biblically accurate way of expressing what Jesus gives to us is chayat, life. He's our life giver. He gives us abundant life and overcoming life on earth by healing, raising the dead. And on judgment day, he'll be giving us an opportunity for eternal life. He's our life giver. I know Christians like to approach Muslims, do you accept Jesus as your savior? Which is not inaccurate, but more accurately would be, can you accept Jesus, the Messiah, as life giver, and another 22% of the world's population could probably say yes, because the word, we call it the nomenclature, the words used in Christianese are so well known that they're almost, people will run away from them. Mm -hmm. And I found, by the way, millennials in America, American, all American millennials, meaning people from 18 to 33, 35, if you say, would you want Jesus, your savior, they'll say no. Even they are tired of it. They're tired of it. And these are American, Christian background, you say, do you want better life now? They say, yes, I want better life. Do you want eternal life? Well, sure, who would want to live forever? Yeah. Even the, the, the wealthy, the super wealthy, use their billions to try to for extend their life for longevity and health, and they're trying to figure out ways of living forever. Everyone wants eternal life. Well, you don't have to do any more research. 
Jesus is there anointed by God. He's the Messiah, remember? His anointing was to be a prophet, which we, which we all agree he was. And he was anointed to be the king of our life, the director to lead us to the kingdom of heaven. And he was also anointed in our previous program to be what? The high priest. The high priest. Now, I didn't mention what that means. What was the high priest's job? The high priest's job was to take a lamb, an unblemished lamb from Bethlehem, sacrifice it in when there was a temple during the time of Jesus in Jerusalem, and take the blood into the Holy of Holies, where only the high priest could go, take a hyssop branch in the bowl of the blood of this beautiful lamb, and sprinkle it on the Ark of the Covenant, which is, you know, the, where the presence of God. So all that is now entrusted. There's no more temple. There's no more high priests. Jesus is our high priest. There's no sacrifice. He's been the sacrifice. And now Jesus, even in the Quran, is our life giver. Thank you. That's and it. that brings me to what I shared with you uh, today also about my father being 72 years old. Mm -hmm. And one day he looked so deep into my eyes and he said, son, why did I have to wait 72 years to find your Jesus? Mm -hmm. Why nobody told me? Meaning, why nobody told me that he's a life giver? Why nobody introduced him as a life to me? You know, and because he felt the light. And, and the life, he was so happy, at the same time so sad, that why did he have, have to live 72 years? And his question really was like, why nobody told me? You know, we may say as a Christian, we go and tell everybody. No, we say it mostly in the wrong way. We offend people, including me. <laughs> we don't present Jesus the way that people could understand and receive it. And that's one of the things you're doing, really. And you're presenting Jesus to our Muslim brothers and sisters and just saying, hey, it's right here. It's in your family book. It's in your book. I'm not using my book. This is Jesus. It's in your book. And that's so amazing. 